Good morning, everyone. This is the weekly note for the B Distance Learners for the week of October 26th. Our test will be this Thursday, the 29th, for Topic 1B. You have four homework assignments that you'll have to turn in by then. You can either take pictures and email them all to me, or upload them in the folder in which they were assigned. Here are the four assignments in the four corresponding folders. There was also that notes review worksheet, which isn't an assignment, but it's actually going to be the cheat sheet that you can use on your test. Make sure that you either printed it out or wrote it carefully on notebook paper. For full credit on your assignments, you must have work shown when it's needed. All answer keys are posted on Schoology. Use them as a guide to correct your work. And as always, please let me know if you have any questions. Homework must be turned in by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. in order to earn full credit. If you think you're going to have trouble uploading your assignments, do not wait until late on Wednesday to start. Try to upload them as soon as possible. Here, are, or here is a review of our testing guidelines. Most of our guidelines are the exact same that they were before, but we do have a couple of changes. To keep with the integrity of our assessment, these guidelines will be required. Please be logged in and ready to go by the start of class. If you're in first hour, you need to be ready to go right at 7.50, second hour promptly at 8.38, and third hour at 9.30. Make sure you're test ready at that time, not just logging in and scrambling to get things organized. Try to be ready as soon as possible. If you're absent on Thursday, you must email me as soon as possible to schedule a different time to take your test. I have six classes testing this week and rescheduling will be quite a challenge. Your absence must be excused on that day in order to retake for full or in order to take the test for full credit. Otherwise, you may only take it up to the 80% benchmark if your absence is unexcused. Have your camera on when you log on to our Google Meet and make sure your entire workspace is visible. This means I need to see you, the surface that you're working on, the paper you're writing on, and that notes review worksheet. And these need to be visible at all times during the Google Meet. That notes review worksheet is really just a summary of our topic notes that you can use as a guide. You can have everything on the front, but nothing additional. So no additional examples or anything written on the back. You may not use your note packet on the test, just that review worksheet. You'll submit a picture of your review worksheet when you submit your test. You are of course allowed to use a calculator, but you are not allowed to use your cell phone or any other aid while taking your test. Trying to make this as authentic as possible. Once you finish your test, please let me know in the chat function on the Google Meet. Mm -hmm. Then I will let you go grab your cell phone to take a picture. Stay on the Meet until you've submitted your test and re er, note review worksheet to me. Once I tell you in the chat that I received your email, you are then free to dismiss yourself from the Google Meet. If at any time it appears you are not following on these guidelines, you will be dropped from the Google Meet and you'll have to reschedule your test. If this happens, you'll only be allowed to take to the 80% benchmark. If you have any questions on these guidelines or your homework, you guys, please email me. I want to make sure we can get all clarifications taken care of before we start. We can either Google Meet after school on Monday or Tuesday or even Wednesday, or if you just want to email me, hopefully I can connect with you through email throughout the day. So for the rest of the week, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, continue to work on your four, whoa, sorry, <laughs> continue to work on your four homework assignments. Have them turned in by 11.59 on Wednesday night. Make sure your notes review worksheet is complete and ready to go on Thursday. Have a great few days, and if you have any questions, reach out. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all on Thursday.